OK, Ryan, disappointing result in the end, but the highlight, obviously, was your goal. Talk us through it, please. Yeah, no, I was obviously delighted to get my first goal at the Mem. Um, obviously, it was a special feeling. Uh, the crowd was see roaring and church cheering and whatnot. But, yes, obviously, disappointed that we couldn't hold on. Um, but, yeah, hopefully, put more goals and hopefully we can get some more points on the board. Um, just couldn't hold on to that goal, to that start. Um, shows became, I think, <laughs> with the intention of getting a point and they kind of escaped with a point. So are the players a bit disappointed in the dressing room? Yeah, we know we weren't at our best today. Um, but I think, like you said, they made the game obviously scrappy, slowed it right down, going down really easy and wasting time. Um, obviously, when we got the goal, I thought we, we, we was going to go and uh, cruise it to the last to, to the final whistle. But obviously, they got back in the game and then uh, obviously... Uh, it's back in their hands again. They can slow the game down and make it hard for us. Coming off the bench and scoring is great. Are you looking to maybe start the game on Tuesday in the Cup at Plymouth? You never know. Obviously, it's the manager's decision who what, what team he puts out. But um, obviously, I'll hopefully be ready if, if called upon um, to make an impact. And that's all you can be ready for. Just finally, um, you mentioned earlier that feeling of scoring your first goal at the Mem. Yeah. It was a really special feeling, yeah? Yeah, it was, def it was definitely special. It was similar to... The Port Vale one, obviously, that was my, my first goal then. Um, similar sort of uh, reaction. Obviously, the crowd's mental. Obviously, it's a nice feeling to score here, especially at home um, when you've got such a loud crowd behind you. Um, so, like I said, hopefully, I can add some more to that, but obviously, disappointed still.